five o'clock on Wednesday and it's time for... Greg and Ryland's Magic Review Show. I'm Greg. I'm Ryland. And welcome to uh, The Review Show. Now you'll notice over the next few weeks in the channel, you're going to be seeing this table more and more. This is our brand new table. It's very swanky. It's very swavy. It's very big. And it is from... Huge. It's from Prop Dog. It's from Dave Bontel and the guys at Prop Dog. We are going to be doing a review on this table at some point, but they have a whole bunch of different ranges of tables. And this is amazing. So this is our new table, but the show remains the same. We're going to be looking at four products and we're going to be performing every single product. We'll tell you what you think. I've got to be honest with you. Um, if you're looking for like amazing tricks that you're absolutely going to love, that's going to go in your act and stay there for a long time, you want to look elsewhere because we have some tricks on here on this show this week that are absolute clunkers. We have There's some... one that you have to look at though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, you hate what I do. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But we're going to start off with, with, with one of the most pointless tricks I've seen in a long time. Let's get straight on with the first review. Right, so the first trick we have is Polymorph by Jimmy Strange. Polymorph by Jimmy Strange. Uh, and, and the ad copy says something along the lines of your best friend just got better or something like that. And the whole idea is this is a trick with a Sharpie marker with a cap. Um, <laughs> he really hates this, so do I. Um, the whole idea is that uh, it's a card revelation built into the cap of a Sharpie. Uh, there's about three or four different routines, three routines that you can actually do with this that are taught on the download. What I'm going to do, first of all, is do you a performance of uh, the first routine that they teach. And then we'll break down how this actually looks and what we actually think of it. OK, right. It's card trick time. I know you're super excited every time I do a card trick, aren't you? Yeah. You've never seen a card trick before, have you, mate? Yeah. No, I have. <laughs> I have. I know you have. So pack of playing cards, 52 cards. Uh, they're all there. They're all different. Is that fair? Yeah. Cool. You're going to pick a card, mate. So as I uh, as I cut small packets of cards onto the table, anytime you want to just say stop. Stop. There. Yeah. We'll put that card over there for a minute. We will get back to it in a second. So I also have a pen. Can you see my pen here? Yeah. Um, I'm going to show you something with the pen in a second. More importantly, I'm going to show you something with the pen lid. Can you see the pen lid right there? Yeah. With the uh, Do you know what that clip's for? to clip the pen into your pocket so it doesn't fall out. Um, but I'm going to use it for something else. So, uh, turn the card over, show everyone what the card is. Two you got hearts. The card? Two of hearts, brilliant. Now, what I want you to do is hold out your hand, palm down and flat. Uh, the other hand, that way I can cheat. No, hold out the other hand. Over here, I don't need to put the hand on the card, just hold out that hand like that. Perfect. And squeeze this pen tightly. Very good. Because this is not really about the card, it's about the two of, it's about the pen. Because I said I was going to show you something with that clip, something weird. And this is weird. You see, if I, you ever seen those magicians that bend metal? Yeah. I'm going to bend plastic. Watch, I'm going to make that bend in your hand. Can you feel anything weird happening? No. No? What I want you to do is slowly open up your hand. Open up your hand. And you can see now, look at that pen lid. It has actually changed into, can you see that, Sarah, on there? It has actually changed into. Yeah, slightly. Like a bit higher up. No. So that was a full performance of Polymorph. Um, I've got to be honest, I'll tell you right now, I hate this trick. What do you think of it? Pants. Like, it's pants. It is absolutely, completely, totally in pants. It's terrible. For a few different reasons. First of all, uh, let me see if I can find... This is the gimmick cap, right? So this is the... Uh, well, let me break down what happens, first of all. So you've got this little cap, and it's it's made a little bit like a wiregram, so that uh, it's, it's, it's made into a two of hearts position right there. And, and for the basic routine, the one that I just performed for you, you switch a normal Sharpie cap for this Sharpie cap after forcing the two of hearts. Fairly simple. Um, the other two routines actually require you to make another cap up. There's quite a little bit of arts and craft. Uh, the, it requires you to make another cap up out of this. And what this is, uh, if I can get it out of the bag, I, I couldn't be bothered to make this up because it involves glue and guns. Uh, it, it's like about a, uh, sorry, a glue gun and stuff like that. It's like a 20 minute thing. I couldn't be bothered. But basically, it's another two of hearts. Uh, but this one is kind of stretchy. So you can stretch it and it'll ping back into a two of hearts position. So the other two routines use this, and the whole idea behind this is that you have another cap, and you can you can kind of stretch it, and you can kind of, you can make the cap on the side of the pen stretch, and then ping back into this position. Uh, and they think that this looks good, but it doesn't. Um, so those are the three routines. Uh, the, the download comes with instructions on how to do all of that stuff. Um, 
Right, let's talk about the negatives first of all, because there is no positives. I'm telling you right now, this is dreadful. Now, I use the Sharpie marker an awful lot um, as a revelation. I use Remarkable. If you've not seen Remarkable, I think you've seen me perform it in the past. It's where you take the Sharpie logo and the Sharpie logo, you shake it and it changes into like a two of hearts. Um, or it changes into the name of a card, and then you uh, you show that both logos have changed, and then you change it into a second second card. It's so good. I mean, I've used Remarkable for years. Look Sharp is another great one, where the Sharpie itself changes into a selected playing card. There's lots of different ways of using a Sharpie to do a reveal. This is just absolutely pointless. First of all, the handling... Well, first of all, Jimmy Strange, who's on the download, um, he's the guy that explains it. I don't know how long Jimmy has been into magic. I've never seen him before, never heard of him before, never watched any of his tricks before, but he's got the card handling of a four-year-old who's never actually done any magic before. He, I, I don't know what business he has teaching a trick to people because... He, he doesn't even, he can't even do the basic, simple card handling. So just explaining how to control the card, just explaining how to do that is painful to watch. Really painful. You know, Jimmy obviously is aware of this because if you look at the trailer to this product, he's got somebody else doing the actual uh, performances on the trailer. So there's a lot of performances on the trailer of them doing this. And uh, he's got somebody else doing the performances, but then the download is all him. So he's obviously aware that he's, his card handling is just terrible. So why he hasn't got that person to explain the trick as well, I don't know. Because there's some people that just aren't great performers and they're great creators, and that's not a problem. But I have to take the download at face value. And the download is, he explains what to do and so on and so forth, but his sleight of hand is just abysmal. Also, as is a problem with a lot of products these days, there are no live performances. And in this situation, I don't even understand why, because there's a ton of live performances on the trailer. What happened to the footage that got put on the trailer? The guy that they paid to go out and do all of those live performances, why didn't they stick those live performances in full on the download? There are no live performances. If I saw a live performance, maybe I'd be inclined to like this a little bit better. But from my point of view, it's completely pointless. You you looked at it and you were like, this is just ridiculous. It really is. You perform it to somebody and they're just like, well, so what? Yeah, it's changed. It's not, it's not that impressive. The other problem with it is, by the way, this is a Sharpie marker. Now, if you have a pen of a Sharpie marker and you put it onto the lid and you shake, what happens? It stays on. That's the whole concept of a lid. It goes on the pen so that the, the ink doesn't dry out, right? This pen lid that they supply... Bearing in mind, it's meant to be incorporated into your own Sharpie. So you put it on there. Let's just put it on there really well. It comes off immediately. I'm going to push it all the way on there. It just comes off immediately. So the setup that I tricked that I showed you is set up like this. In my pocket, it just fit. he says, I'll oh, have it in your pocket. And it's ready to go anytime, anywhere. No, you have it in your pocket. And what happens is the lid comes off and then you end up with ink all over your trousers and, uh, and, and, and the pen dried out. If you're going to supply a, a lid of a Sharpie that's designed to go on a Sharpie to be your best friend or whatever it is, the ad copy says, at least try and supply a pen lid that actually fits on the pen. Else everything that you're saying on the download is just completely pointless. Even if this was a good trick, which it's not, um, this makes it completely uh, unusable in many situations. Right, what do you think of it? Because you were quite vocal about this when we were looking at it. You really didn't like it. Why specifically don't you like it? What, why don't you like that as a revelation? Because there's going to be people watching this that go, but hang on a minute, isn't it quite magical? You know, couldn't you, for example, just have that in your pocket? I mean, he doesn't explain this on the download at all, but couldn't you have like... Uh, um, like this in, in like a, a finger palm position, show the lid like this and just rub and, and, and have it change, um, which to be honest would probably be the best way of doing it. If I was ever going to do it, I'd do it that way because at least then, you know, I can take the lid off the pen. I can show it. I'm not going to have to stretch it out and make it look really dodgy. I can just literally rub it and have it change. If I was ever going to do it, I'd do it like that. But even then, it's just not that impressive. It's not as impressive as making the Sharpie logo on the side of a pen, change visibly into the name of a card. If you're going to want to use a Sharpie as a revelation, I'd go with Richard Sanders Remarkable or something like that, or contact Steve Rowe at The Gimmick King because he's got some great Sharpies with, uh, with logo reveals with celebrities and stuff that's really cool. Um, have you got anything to add about this? Because I know you don't really like it. <laughs> you said it all.
I have said everything. I've, I've talked over you a lot today. I'm sorry. Um, I'm giving this 0%. I, I think that it's a bottom draw trick. I think minus that, 100. Minus 100. I think if you buy this, what will happen, even if you like the idea of the Sharpie cap changing, I think, and also I think it's going to break. If anybody's ever had a, I don't know, because this one hasn't broke, but this is basically just a clip on a Sharpie. You know, it, anybody who's had a, a, a Sharpie clip for any amount of time will know the clips fail. All it takes is a, 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 a too much of a, I don't know, but I've got a feeling that this will probably go at some point. I don't want to know because it hasn't gone yet, but <clears throat> I think anybody who buys this, even if they like the idea of this, I think they'll start doing it and it'll go into the bottom drawer. I don't think it's strong enough. If you've only got like 10, this is a close-up trick, right? It's a trick that you're going to do close-up, mix and mingle. It's not the sort of thing you can do in any other environment. I think if you're going to do this close-up, and you've only got like six or seven minutes to impress people, you ain't going to do this. You're just not going to do this revelation. It's, it's just not very good. It's 0% from me. What was you? Minus 100%. Minus 100% from Ryland. And the next trick is Music Box by Guy Magic. Absolutely, it is Music Box by Guy Magic. A Gustavo Sereno and Guy Magic production. Um... Yeah, <laughs> so what this is, this is a little music box thing here. You get a standard or you get a deluxe version. The only difference between the standard and the deluxe, the standard looks like this. We got the standard. Uh, the deluxe is actually looks more like a music box in that there's wood on all four sides and there's a lid. So it looks like an actual music box as opposed to the inside of a music box. Uh, they say on the download it's a little bit louder with the actual music box. I wouldn't know because we haven't got one. And you get more music. You get different music that you can use to reveal as a revelation. Um, but other than that, it's exactly the same. Uh, there's no it difference. Takes, it does take ages. Yeah, well, I mean, well, do you want to perform it first of all so that people can see exactly what it's about? Yeah. And then, because well, you like this, don't you? You yeah. really like this. So let's talk about uh, let's talk about it. But do you want to perform it first of all? Yeah. Okay, do a full performance for me. And then we'll uh, we'll talk about what we think. I've got some music here. I've no, it's got... a piece of paper with holes in. No, it's some music. That's music. Yeah. How and about... I've got a music player. <laughs> really? I use yeah. an iPod. <laughs> Where are you from? The nineteen fifties. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I don't know. Look, I'm just gonna put that in there. Okay. Okay. And we'll get back to that later. Okay. And I've also got some cards. Mhm. Mm We've got happy birthday, we've got jingle bells, we've got twinkle little stars. We've got a bunch of different ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We've got yeah. Harry Potter, we've got Pirates of the Caribbean, we've got Mission Impossible. Okay. We've got lots of different yeah, ones. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay? Now I'm going to give these cards a shuffle. Okay. And a little waterfall shuffle. Just because? I like waterfalls. Okay, yeah. Okay. Yep. Now, I want you to cut the cards. Okay. And we'll mark the cuts. Okay. So, spin it and see if you recognise the music. No, I don't recognise it at all. It's an old lullaby. Well, you are from the 1940s, aren't you? It's an old lullaby. Okay, right, it's an old lullaby. <laughs> right, yeah, okay. Yeah? Yeah? Now, we're going to see where you mark the cut. You marked it right here. Super Mario. I do love my Super Mario, don't I? I am a We've Super Mario. we down there on the Switch. We do have it on the Switch, yeah, we play it a lot. Okay, so we've got Super Mario. You could have had these. You could have... You could have had any of these or it, you could have any of these but you got super mario yeah that's right okay yeah now we're gonna try and do some magic okay i want you to snap do you want to put it in do you want me to put it in yeah okay and spin it spin it you will spin that super mario That's the old Mario. It's Super Mario. That's cool, man. That's really cool. But the olden days. <laughs> the olden days <laughs> when Daddy was young. So there you go. That's Music Box. That's a really good performance, right? You you like this, don't you? You yeah. really like. It. Tell tell everyone why you like it. Well, 
it's not cards, it's not coins, it's not rubits, it's not anything that you would think would be magic. That is true. That is true. That is true. I've got to be honest. I don't really like it, to be honest, that much. I don't. I, it's it's all right. After this review, can I punch you in the head? No, you can't punch me in the head. <laughs> Never can you punch me in the head. It's. Let me explain why I don't like it. I. I, I maybe. I just. Where are you going to do this? Where? Where? For my first issue is. Close shop. Yeah, but here's the thing. It's actually quite quiet when you turn the handle. It's actually not the loudest thing in the world. So maybe if you were doing close up around your friend's house or you're doing close up informally, but if you were at a restaurant where it's not any environment where you're doing paid close up and there's lots of people there watching you do close up and there's therefore ambient noise, I don't think you could even hear this. I think people would be straining to hear. And if they can't hear it, there's literally no trick to it at all. For that same reason, it wouldn't work in parlor. It wouldn't work in stage. I think the best place to actually use this is to have it at home and have it on your bed, uh, on your, you know, maybe your lounge, have it in your lounge as a talking point. And when you have friends come around and say, hey, would you like to show you something weird? I've got a music box here. Uh, my nan gave me this music box when I was two years old and I was knee high to a grasshopper and I do magic or something. And you kind of do it that way. But in a paid gig, I don't think people could actually hear it very well. That's my first problem. The second problem I have with it is that... Um, so what to carry around? You've got to carry around that. You've got to carry around um, that. You've got to carry around that. There's an awful lot to carry. Now, I do agree with you. It's not terrible. I'm not completely Mar ragging on it. Uh, um, huh? Mario. Yeah, Mario. I do, I do, I'm not ragging on you complete, on, on the trick completely because I do agree it's different. It's unique. It's unusual. And I like the, 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 the there's like four or five tricks on the download. Um, and, and they all kind of are variations on the theme, but the one Ryland did I prefer, where you actually, with no switches, you play the music, it sounds like some sort of lullaby, they've never heard the music before, you get them to pick a song, and when they pick a song, it's something that they recognise, and it's nice that they have lots of different versions, like they have Twinkle Twinkle Little Star, they have uh, Happy Birthday, they have Super Mario, they have a whole bunch of different stuff, and in the deluxe version, they have even more Pirates of the Caribbean and Harry Potter and stuff like that. Oh, got that. Yeah, so, uh, you know, I do, I do like it, I do like it, I do think that it's... Uh, it's, it's unique and different, but I don't think I like it enough to the fact that I won't ever do it. Because I just think, I, I wouldn't carry this, I wouldn't carry this and this and I this would. around. And I would. You carry it around with you and you do it. Yeah. So when, when COVID's then ended and you go and do your next wedding walk around close up gig, and I'm not kidding, he's done quite a few of those. When you do your next walk around gig at a wedding, you'd actually do this. Yeah. Do you think people would be able to hear it though? If I told them all to be quiet. If you told them all to be quiet. And so you're going to silence everybody in the to... wedding. Yeah, excuse and... me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. I know that you're in the and middle I'm of your sausages. Watch and I'm okay you're, make... watch. Well, you're now turning table magic into a, into a cabaret show. Right, okay, is that where we are, are we? <clears throat> okay, yeah, it's, you know what? I mean, Ryan just did a great performance of this. This is, if you like the look of it, you ain't going to go far wrong. I mean, if you, if you like the look of this trick... What you see is what you get. It's buy it, buy it, buy it, You know what? I'm gonna give it I'm gonna give it seventy percent. I'm not gonna do it. It's okay. I'd never buy it again. Um you'll you know sometimes we'll buy a trick and be on Ryland both love it. You'll nick it to put in your act and I'll buy it again for myself because I really want to do it myself. Um uh, but there's no way I'd actually I'd include this in my act. I'm never gonna do it. Um you're more than welcome to have that. Um I'm going to give it 70%. I'll probably just have music in my room all day. Sometimes. <laughs> so what are you going to give it? 115. You think, you think, oh, come on. You think it's that good? 115%. You think it's that good? 115%. Really? Fine. It's 115% from the Kid Magician. It's, uh, it's, it's 70% from me. You know what? If you are going to get it, you do like the idea of it and you like the sound of it and you want to get it, Please bear in mind that it's not the sort of thing that you're going to be able to do in many close-up professional gigs. But if you want it around the house to show a few mates, absolutely perfect. Okay, so the next trick we're going to be looking at is a highly anticipated trick. A lot of people have been talking about this. It's called Boxing Match 2, um, which is a colour-changing deck and a colour-changing box. You really like this. It really likes this. I'm going to... Uh, no, you're going to do a performance of this, aren't you? If you haven't seen the ad copy for this, a lot of people have been buzzing about this trick. The whole idea is it's uh, a colour-changing deck 
where uh, you take the cards out. It's a red deck. They have a, if they pick a card, um, the card gets put in the card box. Then very visually, the card box changes color. The card inside it changes color. The deck changes color, and even the jokers change color. Um, it reads like the ultimate color changing deck. We're going to get Ryan to perform it for you because he spent quite a few minutes, well, quite a long time practicing it. And then we'll talk about what we think. I've got a pack of cards, and as you can see, I've already took them out of the box. Now, what color are these cards? Purple. Red. <laughs> I'm not colorblind, I can tell. <laughs> okay. Now, I'm going to take out the jokers. Okay. We've got a not colored one, and we have a colored one. Okay, cool. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, I want you to pick a card. Okay. Whenever you want to, just say stop. Any sign? Yeah. Stop. Do you want that one or that one? I want that one. Okay. What is it? Am I allowed to tell you? Yes. It's the King of Hearts. Okay, now I'm just going to cut these cards. Okay. Okay. Mm hmm. And I'm going to put these here. I'm going to take this King of Hearts and I'm going to put it inside the box. I can see it there, yes, that's yes, fine. You can see it now. Yeah, watch. that's cool. Watch. What? That's incredible. It's the, it's turned blue. Now, not only that, but your card has That is amazing, blue. right? That is absolutely look, brilliant. We'll experiment it on the deck as well. Oh, is this some experiment, is it? Right, okay. It could go really wrong and set this cave on fire. <laughs> I really don't want to set the cave on fire, all right? Okay. Whoa. Can, can you see that, sir? I can. They're all the blue. cards have now turned blue. That's amazing. Yeah. But the jokers are not. No, they're not, no. We need to experiment on the jokers. Okay. No way. Can I turn them over? Yeah. Perfect. Okay, that was a great performance, Ryan. I really loved your performance. That There's was really good. There's one thing that was really hard. What's that? Taking the cards out of the box. Yeah, well, he's left-handed. And um, the, 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 the box is specially designed, obviously. And the cards fit in inside quite snugly. So you can't, can't point, you can't put your fingers in and pull them out. So you have to shake them out. And, and um, you, you struggled with that a little bit, didn't you? Um, because he's left-handed, not right-handed, it was it was awkward for him to turn it around. But other than that, I mean, you did a great performance. Now, let me explain what I like and what I don't like about this. And I think you'll agree with me. We've not really talked about this, so let me tell you what I think. Listen to me, and I want you to tell me if I'm right or not. Now, my issue with this trick, you just saw Ryan perform it. That's an exact performance of the trick, as described in the download. By the way, it's like a 14-minute download. No, it's less than that. It's like a five-minute download that goes through it all, uh, it's music and it's subtitles underneath, but it covers everything that you need to know. Um, there's not really a presentation, there's no live performance, which again, I've got an issue with, but whatever. Um, but this is my main problem. So it's a color changing deck, right? Now, I don't wanna to give too I much like away. I don't wanna to give too much away, but at the end, when you take out the cards and you show that they've all turned blue, you can only spread half the deck. You cannot spread the whole deck at that point, can you? It's not like you can even spread, you know, with most color changing decks, you might be left with one, one odd back card in there or two odd back cards that you have to palm out or cop out. But in this case, with this color changing deck, think about the structure behind this. You, 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 you get them to pick a card, which is the King of Hearts. You get it put in the box. You do that amazing visual of the box changing and the card changing. And then the entire deck changes, but you can only show half the deck. I have two issues with the construction of that. My first issue is if the if the um if the if the effect of the trick is that the deck changes color, I think it's a very weak point that you can't spread more than half the deck because I think that an audience or a layperson if you've just said and look all of the cards have changed color, they will clock that you haven't spread through to the bottom half of the deck. My second problem with it is because you can't spread through the bottom half of the deck and you can't even let them look at the bottom half of the deck, the deck is not examinable. Now, most I did a, I did a, a video on this channel recently, Ryan, and it was the three best color changing decks of all time. And all three color changing decks that I included on that video 
all of the the, the the reason I picked those tricks is because at the end, all of the cards could be examined. Or there was one gimmicked card in there that you could very easily remove when you put the box away or you put the cards away. So my issue with it is you can't have the cards examined and you can't be very clean. Yes, you can turn the jokers over. You can show the jokers have changed colour. Yet you've got the awesome visual of the box changing. But the actual construction of the colour changing deck is weak at best. It's like the person who put that particular part of the routine together knew nothing about magic because there's so many different ways that you could do it better. Do you agree with me there at least? Would you agree? Because I know you like this trick. Yes, and I've not talked to you about this. I don't agree with you about spreading all the way down. You don't think it's an issue? <laughs> You've just changed the colour of the cards and you can only spread about 20 cards. You don't think that's an issue? I don't care. How do you know? I don't care. Don't you, you think? think? You think... You didn't care when I showed it to you. Well, no, that's true, but we had watched the download together. Here's what I think that should happen with this. First of all, I almost got pretty much... Because you watched the download before me. He watched it and, and learned part of it, and I jumped in and watched the rest of it with him, watched it again with him. But you pretty much fooled me with that card change. When the box changes colour, that is so visual. And then the card in there changes colour, that is so visual. I think it's worth buying this trick just for the box because the box is amazing that for me is the moment of this trick where you do that and the box changes color and it's really easy just flick it and the box changes color it's amazing and then the card and what's nice about it is you've got this red box you've put their selected red card in there you flick the card turns uh, the box turns blue and you take that and the flap stayed open and you take their card out and that's turned blue as well I think that's amazing. I think that's absolutely brilliant. So the card box can't be examined, but I think from a construction point of view, if you then said, but now look at this, the deck has changed colour and you can let them examine the deck. I think they forget about the card box, but you can't because of the construction of this routine. So I think it's worth buying this just for the card box. And what I do is I put a different colour changing deck together. So I put a colour changing deck together where they pick up something like uh, Modern Times by Henry Evans or something, something where they you, you show a red pack of cards you you, um, you you take the cards out of the box, you show a red pack of cards, you spread them out face up, you do some sort of simple force like you do here, take out the king of hearts, you say, I'll put the card box over there, I'll put the cards over there, now I want you to watch, I'm going to put your card in there, if I flick, the box changes colour, look, your card changes colour, but if I take the deck and snap, boom, modern times, deck changes colour, the deck's examinable, you then say, here, have a look at the cards, have a look at the deck, look, the entire deck's changed colour, and in that action, you just put the card box away, and if someone wants to say, or you just put it in your pocket and then bring out another one, I think that's how you do this. I think if you're going to actually carry on doing this, I think what we need to do is we need to seriously look at the construction of the colour changing deck, because I think that is the weak point of this routine. Do you agree, or do you think that I'm talking absolute rubbish? I agree. You agree. So I do think that you should carry on doing this because he, he watched this and he was like, I want to do this on my YouTube channel. And you can probably get away with doing the trick on your YouTube channel as you just did it in the review because nobody is here with you. And I don't think they're going to say, on, who, me? And mommy. And mommy. Yeah, but when we, when we film for the YouTube channel, for your YouTube channel, it's normally just me, isn't it? Yeah. Um, but I do think if you're going to actually do this, I think that we need to change the construction of the colour changing deck and do a colour changing deck because I think that would take the problem of the unexaminability of the box off. Because you do the change of the box, you change the cards, they can examine the cards and then you've got all the time in the world to switch the box. As opposed to doing the box thing and then taking the deck and doing this and you can't even examine the cards. And trust me, I've done colour changing deck enough times to know that when you do colour changing deck, it's such a visual moment. People want to look at those cards. And if, you, if you're spreading and you only spread halfway, what would you do if somebody said, oh, can you can show me the bottom half of that deck? What would you say? No. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> I'll just go, shut up. Shut up. It's much better to put a, put a routine together where that's not an issue. So I personally think I'm going to give this 80%. And the reason I'm giving this 80% is because... You think it's terrible. If... It, no, I don't think it's terrible, dude. 80%, I'm going to do it. I like it. But I'm just taking the box part and I'm going to put my own colour-changing deck routine together. If you like the box, I think that's brilliant. It's worth the price of the, uh, of the of the thing to get that box, which is really well made and it'll last a lifetime. And it's an instant reset. The actual box part is an instant reset as well. So if you get the right colour-changing deck, you can have a trick that resets itself instantly. That's amazing. Um, 
So yeah, um, I I, I'm, gi I'm giving it 80%. I think I want that box. So that's why I'm giving it 80%. I'm going to do it. If it was, if I had to base it on the routine, I'd give it like 40% because the routine I think is badly constructed. And I think people who created this routine need to put the right word together for themselves. What? 101. What do you mean 100? 101 percent yeah. okay but you are changing the routine as well you do agree with me on that okay 101 percent from him it's really good but understand that you are going to have to go in i personally think you're going to have to put the time and effort in to create your own actual color changing decks or adapt do. adapt somebody else's well you do a couple of color changing decks don't you yeah. i think modern times would be the way to go for you because it's really easy it's cool okay 101 percent from him um, eighty percent from me. Buy it, but be aware you're gonna have to put a bit of work in. Right, let's have a look at the last review. Okay, so the final review we've got today is Watch This. This is called Watch This, um, and it's been advertised all over the internet. It's Smooth Production Company, and basically what it is is it's a way of taking a playing card and turning it into a watch. That's basically what you have here. You have a playing card that's turning into a watch. Um, it looks very, very visual. Um, on a lot of the trailers that you'll see, they hold it like this and they shake it and it immediately turns into this watch. Um, I prefer to bring my hand in front. I think that that makes it a little bit easier. And also I think bringing the second hand in front makes it look a we little bit more deceptive. Done performance yet. I'll do a performance then, shall I? Okay, it's very quick. I'll just do a very quick performance for you and then we'll talk about what we think. Okay, guys, here's what I have. I have a playing card. I want to watch very carefully. Ryland, watch the playing card. Everybody else, watch the playing card. Watch. It's going to happen on three. Watch, watch. One, two, three. Look at that. It is now a watch. Check that out. Dude, I think that was a bit too quick. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you think so? <laughs> Yeah, I think you're probably right. It's it's a very quick routine, isn't it? I mean, it's literally just, look, here's a card, boom, I'm turning it into a watch. Um, now, let me talk... Uh, first of all, you have to... The, the same issue that I'm getting over and over good. again... Huh? I watched the download first and then you watched it, but... Yeah, I watched it first, but you know, then I, and then you found the pass and I was like, right, end, have you got the trick for this? And I was like, yeah. Mm -hmm. If you want to download... Yeah, can I watch it? Yeah. <laughs> That's pretty much how it went. Um, here's the thing. Here's the thing. I've got the same issue with this that I've had with Triple Helix. I've got the same issue with this that I've had with so many other routines, which is it's a 12, it's a 12, it's a very angly product. Very, very angly. Incredibly angly. And um, a lot of audience management will need to be done in order to make this look good. Um, it's very, 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 very angly. It also uses black art um, so that you have to wear something black because when you do this, if you haven't got something black on, there's a very good chance that they'll see it. But also you really have to be front onto it. If you're looking from even slightly at an angle, they'll see how it works. They'll definitely see how it works on the side. They'll definitely see how it works from behind and there's no way to cover those angles. So my problem with this is a 12 minute download without any talking, instead just music playing over the background. It's not enough information to teach people how to use this properly. Now there is going to be a TikTok superstar on here that's gonna turn around to me and say, well, this is absolutely brilliant, this is perfect. And if you wanna pay 60 or 70 quid for a trick that you're gonna do once on TikTok, then fair enough. I'm probably gonna do this as a short and I'll probably uh, do it as a short because I've got it, so why not? So look out for it on, uh, on, uh, on a YouTube short. But my problem with it is, it's quite expensive. It's like 60 or 70 quid. It's incredibly angly. You have to, right, I, when I started watching it, I was like, well, how are you going to do this? Because you're going to have to be holding it in this position. And then they, they spend half of the download teaching you how to prep a deck in order to do this. And, and they've got this whole idea of a deck where there's a massive hole cut in it and you've got the gimmick with the card on top of the deck and, and then you've got that in a box which is also gimmicked and you, you open up the box and you take out the deck. And, but you end up in a situation where the deck is completely gimmicked, like 90% of the surface of 51 of the cards is gone. So when you do it in their, with their method like this, you're holding the deck like this, aren't you? You've got to take the card off. You're now in this position to do this. You're holding this incredibly gimmicked deck so when you do this, you're now in a situation where you're just completely gimmicked to the halt, right? 
Um, so you could put this deck away without flashing and then steal off the gimmick like I did when I was performing it for you. It's just, I don't think many people are going to do this. I think that what's going to happen is people are going to get attracted to the visual. They're going to like the visual of a, of a card turning into a, uh, a watch and they're going to go, oh, that's really cool. I'll buy it. it. Huh? They can examine it. They can examine it if you steal the gimmick off. So the way I just did it there, you, once you've you done this, the yeah. So once I've done the change, and as I say, the gimmick, you need black art. But once you've done the change, you literally just come up to show the watch and you've got this palmed and you can go south with it. So it is examinable. And one thing that they suggest doing is using it as an opener. And, and well, I, they don't say this, but there's music playing over the top. So I'm guessing this is what they suggest. Uh, having a card, shaking it, turning it into a watch and putting the watch on the wrist. The problem is it's a very cheap looking watch. And I'd never wear a watch like this in an actual gig. Plus, if I am going to wear a watch, it's going to be something like a Timesmith watch. And therefore, I'm not going to want another watch in place. Um, also, there's no routine with it. They don't give you a routine, which is another issue I have with tricks that are coming out these days. Like, why are we taking a card and turning it into a watch? What's the reason? Yeah, we could just say, look, I'm a magician. I can turn a card into a watch. But, you know, I think we need to justify these things a little bit. Have a reason. Um, I mean, just off the top of my head, I can think of a few things like, you know, you've got a, uh, a pack of, you've got a whole bunch of business cards with different random objects, like a, a playing card and a watch and this and that and the other. And you show them all and you say, look, I'm going to get you to think, pick one. So do me a favor, pick one. And they pick one and you show it and it's, uh, it's a watch, but you don't see that. But it's, uh, I don't like it. it's, a, it's a, yeah, you don't like that presentation. I do. I don't like the trick, but I like the presentation. I <laughs> yeah. like what you say. Yeah, so you put the business card down there, and it's like, right, okay, I've got this business card here, uh, you, you, and you forced, um, you forced watch. Okay, so you forced watch, um, and then you 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 take out a deck of cards, and you take out a card, and you say, was it a card? And they go, no, it was a watch, and then you change it into a watch. There's a few yeah. different ways that you could do this, but it's I, I'm never going to do it. I'm never, as I say. I've got it. I'm probably going to do it on a on a, a YouTube short, and I'll try and think of some creative way of doing it. Like you know, I'm I'm walking along and Luke's playing with a pack of cards, and I take it and I shake it and I turn it into a watch or something. And his watch has gone from his wrist or something. There's going to be a few different ways that you can actually you can go around doing that. But I don't see how anyone's going to do it. It's not going to be done in a walk around situation. It's not going to be done in a banquet situation. You probably could get away with doing it in a parlor show, in a cabaret show as an opener or something like Close that. Close up's not good. Close up's not good. Virtual show would look good. Uh, TikTok, social media looks good. I just not stage but, show. My issue with it is, like I said, I don't want to reiterate this again, but it's the same problem we're seeing over and over again. This, the instructions are substandard. It's like somebody had an idea. Oh, right, hang on, here's an idea. We could turn a playing card into a into a watch. Why? Well, I don't know. Look, we could look. I've come up with this idea. Oh, that's yeah. That looks that looks pretty good. People would buy that. Um, do we need to think of anything else to do with it, like alternate handlings or ideas or presentational ideas? No. So when we film the DVD or the video, how long do you reckon it should be? Oh, about twelve minutes. We'll just talk how it works and you know how to make up a gimmick box what don't you think we should talk about audience management and stuff nah that's not important so i'm gonna give this 30 percent just purely because it's a very expensive product that i'm probably going to use once and the only reason i'm going to use it is because i'm on tiktok and youtube so i've got a platform where i can 15%. use it from you're giving it 15 percent uh, yeah i mean you know there's going to be somebody out there that's going to prove me wrong and they're going to come up with a way of doing this absolutely brilliantly and they're going to do it in their cabaret show or something or they're going to do it in their parlor show and they're going to use it as a feature of their act and it's going to be absolutely amazing and you know there's going to be there's going, i know there's going to be somebody that does that and if you do fantastic and i love being proved wrong and that's amazing but this review is only my opinion and my opinion is i don't think I'm ever going to be doing this, to be perfectly honest. And it's a lot of money. So, yeah, not really recommended. And that's another review show in the bag. Yeah. It and doesn't, it doesn't fit, it doesn't have the same impact when you're sitting down. And that's another review show in the bag. Much better. Guys, that is another review show in the bag. Let us know in the comments down below what you think. If you want to see something on this channel reviewed, let us know in the comments down below. You can follow Ryland on The Kid Magician. He is on YouTube as The Kid Magician. He puts videos up every Thursday and Sunday. And you're watching my channel. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Make sure you, uh, if you want to see more videos like this, like the video. Uh, leave a comment down below. We're going to be back next Wednesday with another uh, review show. And I'm going to be here tomorrow on Thursday with a magic stuff. And don't forget, we've got shorts going out at 6. 
six, uh, two o'clock every single day. And at six o'clock, we've got a Magic Live every single day. Thanks very much for watching. I'm Craig. I'm Ryan. We'll see you again next week. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.